we're still making the choice to end their life for our consumption. Do you feel like that's fair? But no. you wouldn't eat a dog to balance out your potassium, but you would eat a cow or you would eat chickens to balance out your potassium. How do you feel that we take animals' rights away to eat them? Uh. <laughs>Much like this mean to you? What does this embody to you, symbolize? I think it's uh, a celebration day for equality, equality and for the fact that everybody is able to be whatever they want to be and that's yeah. okay. You know, I think it's a great opportunity for each and every one of us to really appreciate and embrace this time because yeah. it's something that back in the day, you know, it wasn't as granted as it is now. So I think that's definitely uh, something to party be grateful about. grateful for this progression. What, what does something like equality mean to you? I just think, like you said, it's everybody's kind of free to be who they want to be and to enjoy, you know, the, the day and feel like they can. Um, I think you feel just it's not about um, being being different necessarily. It's about everybody's equal. It's all the same. Yeah, yeah we're all equal. And yeah. Like the, the freedom to be yourself without yeah. being oppressed or having your rights yeah. taken away or yeah, discriminated yeah. against or any violence yeah. put upon you for those, you know, just for being born a certain way. Yeah. I think uh, equality is essentially like the rainbow flag. Each and every color is fine, and it's a matter of being a blend together, and this kinda, it kind of leads to a perfect picture to it. So uh, the beauty of the world is the fact that we're all different. So and embracing our differences and yeah. treating each other all equally and, yeah. and not discriminating because of those differences. Absolutely. I'm going to throw a curveball at you guys. That's what my interviews are about. Yeah. But do you think we should extend that equality to non-human animals as well? Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Absolutely. Yeah. I feel like um, we're talking about individual, right? So it's not about it's about everybody. Yeah. It's respect. I think this is the key word. It's respect. Respect is the to any religion, to every race, to every color, to yeah. any animal. I think this is the what we're celebrating today. It's not about being gay, trans. It's about being respectful to another individual so this is about principles that extend out and yeah yeah and encompass all sentient life yeah, yeah do you want to be in an interview <laughs> yeah oh, well, how are you i am good how are you loving the march i am loving it you're loving it too mm -hmm. what do you got there what's that what are you drinking um yogurt drink yogurt drink <laughs> ah. so i'm asking people questions about what the march means to them what does it embody what does it what does it symbolize to you well, I just came here to support my friends because like half my um, um, group is part of it, yeah. and I just feel like it's really nice and like it feels like a community, and it's really nice to be here. Community feel, and you? Well, to me, um, LGBT and sharing all these stuff is feel like because most people were, like their parents were abandoned there just because they're LGBT and yeah. etc. And then for, for able to experience this every once a year makes us feel like we're all connected. We're all like. We're always there for each other. You can be yourself and you don't feel alone and you feel accepted, free from oppression and all the things that bad things that you, that still do happen. So I'm going to ask you something. What does equality mean to you guys? Equality, oh, that we're all the same and that like, we're treat, like now, this is like equality. We all should be treated yeah. the same even if we're different? Yeah. 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 And to yeah. me, I feel like it's just a place where all of us can smile, can just express ourselves and just be... Just be who you are. Yeah. Don't get judged. You don't get made fun of and go away. <laughs> it's yeah. just like, be happy. And what about you? You seem really shy. What does equality mean to you? Um, every, like, everyone's like everyone's. If 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 you're not e if, if you're not equal, then no one people will be left out, and that's not nice. Yeah. So if when I don't know how to say it. How would I say it? You feel like equality is like we. It's sort of against, we, it's a principle that sort of opposes oppression yeah. and discrimination. Yeah. Would you agree with that? Yeah. What does today embody for you? What does it feel like? Uh, it's great. It's just like you get to come here and everyone accepts you. And there was these like, there was these people being like, um, oh, um, homosexuality is a sin. And you have all these people just like waving their flags in front of their faces. People are saying homosexuality is a sin yeah. at this march. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They had a big thing, yeah. I mean, we weren't rude to them. Yeah. We, we, I just feel sorry for them. Feel sorry for them, yeah. that they haven't reached that point no, of acceptance yeah. and compassion. Yeah. Mm. We're out here interviewing people about equality yeah. and exactly. how that how we can extend that to non-human animals as well. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I totally yeah. agree. Totally agree? Yep. <laughs> yeah, we're totally vegan. To totally vegan? Yeah, I've been vegan since... 
September? September um, the 25th and no, November 23rd. Amazing. Yep. Amazing. Love it. So you agree that this equality, this these principles that this march embodies should extend out to non-human animals non as well? Yep. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And we'd be well on our way to a more peaceful world like that? Yep. I and believe I believe the future is vegan. Future is vegan? Yeah, it is. It is. There's Amazing. no doubt. There's no, There's no doubt. doubt. There's not going to be no. a world otherwise. So I'm going to ask you another tough question. Do you guys eat animals at all? No, I don't. <laughs> you don't? I do, I just, I'm going to vegetarian, he's vegetarian, so we're going to the vegetarian side. Well, I don't eat many, I eat just chicken once a week, so I'm I'm trying to get rid of it because I said, you know, it's not going to take me that long to do that yeah. because I'm not actually a huge meat eater. Yeah. And yeah. So, so do you feel like when animals are being exploited and killed for our food, do you feel that that conflicts with your principles of equality it, I didn't think he used to do, but now I feel like he does. Like wow. I feel like I'm going against what my beliefs are wow. uh, as an individual. And this is why, you know, I think the main point is to actually willing to make the change. Yeah. And I think this is what I'm working towards, which wow. is good. So then you feel more consistent with your values Absolutely. and your actions. Now, do you think we should extend equality? I'm going to ask you a tough question now. Do you think we should extend that equality to non-human animals as well? I don't. So the, just to say, the equal right to not be treated like property, to have their rights taken away, their life taken away, would you agree with that? What do you think? Yeah. It depends. It's like basically like animal, t animal testing, like you shouldn't do that because... Oh, yeah, yeah, I agree. What about, do you guys eat animals? Yeah. Yeah, I do, but like I, I feel bad about doing it. You feel bad? Yeah. Do you, do you feel bad when you eat animals? Yeah, sometimes. You don't feel like that's treating animals with compassion or... I'm actually not sure. You're not sure? Yeah. Well, sometimes this could be the first time you've thought about this. I've been thinking about this for a long time. But you think these principles of equality and compassion, if we included animals as well, do you think that that would make the world a more peaceful place? Or um, I think so, but actually, it wouldn't actually stop everything, like knife crime and stuff like that, no, no matter no, no, what. No. So, yeah. But it would stop maybe your contribution to animals. Have you ever seen what happens in a slaughterhouse, I'm going to ask? Yeah, I've seen it. Like I've seen videos on, from when I was in primary school. I saw they showed us videos about stuff trying to make some of us go vegetarian or like help animals not get treated like that. And it was really, really bad. Like yeah. I, I think I ended up going vegetarian for maybe a week, but then I stopped. You stopped because it's sort of outside of your focus, yeah. isn't it? It would be like a conflict of the people at this march's principles uh, to sort of not extend the, the rights exactly. that they want to yeah. other yeah, animals so as well. We've accepted guy using that, so yeah. we, you know, veganism should be more accepted, more the norm. Yeah, yeah definitely. And I feel like um, human beings that we can march for, our, we can protest yeah. for ourselves, but animals just can't, can they? No. That's why we're here. Yeah. I love the tattoo. Look, in oh, safe hands. In safe hands. Look at this. That is beautiful. And, and you I got, got one. show, Compassion. show Rob. It Compassion. really hurt, but it's worth it. Worth, worth it. it. For the animals. Well, you know what, guys? It's beautiful to speak to you. Have an amazing uh, day today. Can we take a photo? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, for sure. Oh my God, it's yeah. Such a... We go to the. Would you like one as well? Of course. Thank you. Okay. So much. Thank you. Really nice Keep to talk to you. Work. Thank you Keep so you much. Doing. I'll see you there. Oh, yeah, we'll All right, guys. Yeah, lovely. Take care. Hello. Hey, how are you? How are you? How are you? What's your name? Yusuf. Um, Yusuf? Yeah. I'm um, um, just actually thanking you because, like, the part that you're just being activist we and you just... Your videos on YouTube. Are you a vegan? Yeah. Oh my and, god. Yeah, and we just, me and my, like, me and the vegans back in Kuwait, yeah. it's like in the Middle East. In Kuwait? Yeah, we have, we have, um, such a, a good person who, who's leading the society. Wow. Um, yeah, and it's just amazing taking the information from your channel and whatever that you prove to just show that like veganism is just something that logical really, and yeah it's yeah. like moral and ethical decisions that we yeah. need to do yeah and as like a person who's just like living back in home as a conservative country is just yeah. it's just we're growing we're wow. growing wow and how does it feel to be at this march and being able to be yourself and it's just fun it's just amazing expressing myself is just it just have been taken away from me so i'm just like glad that i'm just like yeah just you can be having yeah put it all out there and not yeah. the fear of being judged or oppressed or victimized and how do you feel that we still live in a world that is so far behind when it comes to animal rights you can ask him a question because he's he, i turned him vegan since like a month ago wow yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow so you feel like the principles of a march like this like 
compassion, equality. Um, it, it totally reflects veganism on yeah, a larger scale. It totally does. It, it's all about just like being compassionate for everything that surrounds you, yeah. whether it's animals or people or just anything. Different races and yeah, sexualities everything, and minorities. Everything. And, it's yeah. just about the ethical or moral decisions that we have to make, Especially even though even though that we, we, like, I don't know, because at the end we're responsible of our decisions and yeah. moral, because like we need to take uh, like care of ourselves yeah. rather than just thinking about our pleasure of food or just yeah. things that it doesn't make sense when it comes to my mind. Definitely. It's just, yeah. So we definitely discriminate against some species of animals like dogs are cared for, pigs oh, yeah. are food, and that discrimination is really pervasive in society and it really splits the world apart, doesn't it? Yeah, it's of course, it's just reflecting it. It's just, I don't know, it's just, for me, I just get in a loop to the point that I just, the anger itself, I just hold it to myself to all the vegans out yeah. there is just hold the anger and yeah. just try to just figure out the way how you just 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 speak it out loud I guess yeah. well I guess people at this march they believe in the principle of equality yeah. so I guess we could start from there like do you believe that in inequality and what does that mean to you and should we extend that to these non-human animals as well as humans a lot of people they don't see the subjugation the, the violence that happens to animals in the dairy and egg industries yeah. and the meat industries you think if more people saw that, especially at a march like this, that they'd be more compelled to change? Yeah, I think uh, education and information is the lead to change. Yeah. So as soon as people are more aware of what happens around them, uh, it's the you know step to progression. Um, it is, and that's what activism is, isn't it? Exactly. And that's what the marches like this do. They put it into people's consciousness so they're aware and. I think it's, you know, sometimes there is definitely a um, fact that people love to be in the comfort zone. As soon as, as, soon as they, they step out, out of this, I say, oh, actually, this is what's happening. We need to be, it takes just a little step towards make a change. For example, it's the same with plastic, right? Yeah. It's like, it takes uh, just a little taking your own bottle to actually make a difference and yeah. do not buy one. And, and it, those differences add up, don't they? Yeah. It's one thing uh, towards a big pie, right? Yeah. So it's just like... But you guys would agree that, you know, killing an animal takes away their right of life and, you know, it's, it's not... Like killing a human. It's like killing a human. It's very similar. They just look different to us. We treat them differently because they look differently. Yeah. What do you think about that? I mean, Treating others differently because they were born different. I mean, I find that, like, disgusting. I'm wrong. Really? I think yeah. for equality, we need to focus on the fact that life is equal not just people or like you know marginal like demographics it's life in itself that's yeah. important to like preserve and to like yeah. to live in harmony as a as a society that's like you know a first world country and everything like that we need to be focusing on that 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 just importance of life yeah. and living well obviously we can embrace our differences but not treat each other or take each other uh, each other's rights away because of our differences yeah 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 it's just i don't know it's just something that I just, when it comes to veganism, I just try to just spread it out loud as a vegan, even though that I'm have, I have like, I don't know if it's mental health or something, but I just, I just try my best to just send the message in my own way, rather than just keeping it for myself. As the result, I turn someone vegan. Amazing, and you've made an impact in someone's yeah. life. How about, because there's some beautiful music behind us, I've got this right, a vegan challenge. 22 okay. days. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. On Facebook, they guide you, okay. uh, give you all the information you need. Would you promise me to complete a vegan Absolutely. challenge? Do you have Instagram? Uh, I have Instagram. Yeah. I'm let Joey Carbstrong. Let me argue. Would you guys all do a vegan challenge if I gave you a little I'm car? I'm next week as well. Oh, yeah? I would. I would, yeah. Okay, so this is on Facebook, so it's super easy. Thank you. Vegan challenge. I'm doing now, next week as well. Challenge 22. They guide you through the process and then you can sort of, your principles that you believe in, sort of equality, compassion, you can extend those to animals and feel, not feel bad when you eat them and, you know, not have to worry about animals being abused on your behalf and... Yeah. Promise? I would definitely do it, yeah. So awesome. I'm going to do it. Legendary. Have a beautiful day. You too. Thank you for talking to me. Bye-bye. Spread the love of peace. Spread the love. And that's all we can do is keep spreading this message of peace and compassion and equality and hopefully it extend hopefully we can join marches, the vegan yeah, march, the pride we march. We can be just part of it. Yeah. As the veganism growing so fast. It it's is. Just, it's going huge, yeah. isn't it? So 
Really good talking to you guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate everything that way of you doing through like the media as like YouTube Even and just talking to people like I yeah. think that's the primary start to just conversation yeah. yeah just starting yeah. conversation most people are good people who believe in these principles yeah. but we sort of you we don't from this live them because we're not sort of aware of where we're conflicting with them are we like when we yeah. eat a burger we don't see oppression and violence that's true because we don't connect there at the end it's yeah. just because we don't connect what happened in the slaughterhouses and we don't connect what's end up on our blades it's yeah. just there's no connection there's just a pleasure i guess it's a pleasure response yeah we don't... so if we believe in a certain principle it only makes sense that we don't deny that of others so if we believe we human beings deserve rights equal rights we don't deny those rights from animals sort of thing yeah. Amazing. Good talking to you Thank guys. You. Have a good day. I huh? appreciate it. We'll Thank you. Check out the channel. This will be on there. I saw the video yesterday. so it's Oh, fine. wow. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. All right, guys. Take care. Thank you. After you do this vegan challenge, and if you feel like it wasn't as hard as you thought and, and you've gotten through the transition, then then I would invite you maybe to think about ex extending that out to the rest of your life and always being con a consistent human being and, you know. Be like, I think the key here is like, be in line with what you believe you know some people talk but they don't take action i think it's kind of it needs to be halfway it's more lip service to an issue instead of living the living yeah. consistent and I, I, no one's perfect but i think we could strive to be better as the days go on and more in, you know more inclusive and more compassionate and more equality would make the world a more peaceful yeah. place and also i think uh, there is this uh, word as you said perfection nothing is perfect uh, as an individual but as all, we can make it perfect. I think that's the key. Amazing talking to you guys. And I hope, I really hope the next time you reach out to me, you've tried the vegan. Tell me how you go. Yeah, well, that's why I wanted to get you Instagram, so I will update Ask you. Ask some questions. Thank you so much. Enjoy the march. Really nice talking to you guys. Take care. Okay, so there we have it. We're at the Pride March, spreading veganism, spreading the compassion, hoping that, that people extend the same compassion and rights of equality that we expect to non-human animals as well. So go vegan for the animals and for everything. So we have one of the Queen's guards or something here with this horse standing here, standing in his own feces in a public place like this with someone sitting on their back. I mean, people taking photos thinking, oh, the horse is enjoying it or something, but imagine having someone sitting on your back all day while you have to stand in your own feces. It's just wrong. And the chains around their face and mouth and straps, just like a slave, no different.